Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are currently at peace and that of course means we need to fix our economy and we also need to rebuild our navy. It's been a bit. We are currently at one too many star bases and we can certainly get rid of one. Which one would we want to get rid of? I also like how we're at 9999 naval cap. Does the, Is that like a cap in the game or are, are we just there by chance? I don't know. It's definitely an interesting question, though. There's a detection array here. Let's replace that with an anchorage and find out. Okay, so that'll be good. And we just need to get rid of a station here. I'm looking for a reasonable one to get rid of. And I'm thinking... None of those. There must be one up here somewhere that is a non-anchorage, right? 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 I might be wrong. <laughs> Here's one. Okay, we'll downgrade that. Beautiful. So that'll put us at 105 out of 105. Excellent. Now we've got all of these guys currently upgrading here. That'll take them some time. We've got this industrial world. Do we want it to be an industrial world? Actually, right now, I want to change it over to a mining world. And we're going to build a bunch of mining districts here. And we're going to build a... Where are you at? Mineral purification plant. We can also toss in a Ministry of Production. Might as well. So that'll do for now. That will help offset some of our mineral lack. And let's look for any other worlds here that require work. There likely will be some. There are some that we just took over that are going to require some time to be brought into the fold. But let's see if there are any up this way that need anything at all. Uh, this is being upgraded. Okay, that's fine. This trade station could probably be upgraded. Uh, no. Actually, we just need housing here. So, I'm going to put in a pair of Astro Mining Bays. Which should be okay. On this generator station here. We kind of don't need additional energy credits. Hydroponics farms? It would be slightly awkward. Let's put in hydroponics farms and a habitation district. Uh, the habitation district first, like that. So this is a trade station here. It requires a job, and it's pretty much maxed out. What else do we have? We've got this trade station, which would actually make a good mining station. We'll go ahead and do that, and we'll mark that, designate it as a mining station. Perfect. Minus 19 exotic gases. Okay, noted. This foundry station here, again, would make a reasonable mining station. So we'll do that. We've got a generator world here. This I want to make into an agro world. So we will immediately put in a food processing facility and a bunch of agriculture districts. Okay. We've got a factory world here, which seems quasi-reasonable. I'm going to change it over into an industrial world. And it needs housing, but it's got devastation. So that shouldn't be a problem. Any of these that need housing but have devastation, the housing will improve on. This is a tech world here, apparently. I wouldn't mind improving its agriculture and mineral systems here. So we put in a mineral purification plant, max out the mining and agriculture districts, and that will help matters. So then we've got a tech world here. This has already got a food processing facility. I'm going to designate this for now as an agro world, and we'll build up agriculture districts here. And that looks good. That should do the trick. Okay, so we're going to tick on forward here. We are at peace, so we don't have any war to do at this moment. I want to come down here and take a look at our upgrades. Okay, upgrades are already beginning to finish. So that's good. We are working on a lot of these simultaneously, but we've got over 500 in this. Over 700. We've got a lot in this queue. <laughs> that's going to take some time. So that's fine. We have most of our fleets upgrading here. We did finish up a couple of them. The VOS Tectonic 
is going to be upgraded. The Guardian the says it can be upgraded here, but it's great out here. Okay. Our ships have been made superior. That's interesting. But it seems fine. The Uvzant insult us. Our ships have been okay. made superior. <laughs> I mean, the Uvzant don't like us very much. There's a lot of good reasons for that. We have terrible relations with them. Yeah. They don't like us because we have 962 threat and uh, we swept their world. Fair enough. Where do we see our actual threat level at? Is that in here? Because I'm curious on how much our threat is actually improving over time. But I'm not sure where we actually see that. Low colony automation stockpile. We have automated colonies? As far as I know, we don't have automated colonies. Do we have to go through every single one of these and check to see if they're on automation? That would be tedious. But that's all just in the Earth sector there. I mean, if we do, they should be from the bottom, right? Because this just popped in. So that would mean that they would be somewhere down here. Aha. I may have accidentally clicked that. Okay, it was just that our one. Ships cool. have been made That's superior. a good thing. So we're working on our economy here, as well as getting these upgrades done. All of that will take a little bit of time. And once we're done with these upgrades and getting Scientific our fleets under control... Actually, go ahead and upgrade. And then we'll sort these into one of these fleets. Probably the 37th. Our ships cool. have been made superior. So we're getting these all upgraded to our top tier ship classes. That'll be fine. And we're getting those repeatable techs. So that's all looking good. I'm hoping that our food situation will be sorted fairly soon. I'm wondering right now... What are we waiting on? Our ships have been made superior. Probably living metal is my guess. Let's buy in 500 and see what happens. Yep, that's what we were waiting on. Fantastic. So that's good to go. Lando 2 has been terraformed into a continental world, and we will go ahead and colonize that immediately. Beautiful. I want to check in on our expansion planner here, and we can see all of the planets that we are currently terraforming. We've got Lando 2, and we've got this world. That's the world with the Nanite Swarm. Right, and we don't have any real way to deal with the Nanite Swarm. So for the moment, that's okay. Cool. So that's all under control. Construction. But yeah, complete. we were definitely lacking the living metal. And we may be lacking more of that as we go forward, but I think we'll be okay-ish. It's the hope. Yeah, we appear to have spent down all of the living metal that we're going to spend. So that's great. 25% here. Okay, that's going to take a while. So in that case, we should definitely be... Oh, this is definitely improving. 193 on the food. 1400 on the minerals. Okay. We're going to need some work on that, for sure. Other things that we're going to need work on include our fleets. We still have these ghost reinforcements here that we're probably going to just get rid of. Like, we're going to ignore the reinforce all button in favor of doing it per fleet. So, to that end, we know that we need 1, 5, 11, 25, 50, 60. Okay. So, we'll add in our ship designs... And we need Corvettes. So we need 1, 5, 11. And then this was 25. And then this was 50. And then this was 60. 
which it ju is just maxing it out. Cool. So we're going to need to do that for all four of these fleets, right? So we'll add in our battleship, we will add in our destroyer and our corvette. We'll add in our battleship, our destroyer, and our corvette. Battleship, destroyer, corvette. And battleship... Actually, this needs a titan. Titan, destroyer, frigate for this one. And cruiser. Cool. So something along the lines of that will do. Then I just want to make sure... Yeah, the 10th fleet is going to need to be sorted in. So for the moment, let's just go to 5... And then this was 11, 25, this goes up to 50. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Having a few lag spikes while trying to do this, but that's okay. And then we'll take that up to 60. Beautiful. So then we'll need 5, 11, this one will be 25. Cool. Cool. And then, uh, we don't have frigates in here. There we go. Frigates. So we'll add in, not 109, we will add in 50. Okay, there we go. And 60 Corvettes. Cool. So, now we'll need to go to 5, 11, 25. That should be... Apparently, it ate one of my inputs there, but 50. There we go. And 60. Okay, one more to go. Beautiful. So that's 5. We need 11, 25. And then 50. Made I didn't mean to do quite that much. Our ships <laughs> have remove been the made frigate. Superior. Okay, let's try this again. 50 and 60. Perfect. Okay, so there's that all done. We don't want to actually start reinforcing these fleets yet until the fourth fleet is merged in. It's at 94% upgrade, so that's looking good. And we're going to merge that with which fleet? Probably like the 52nd would be my guess. Our ships have been made superior. Yeah, there's a battleship and two corvettes. This should be fine. Our ships have been Beautiful. made superior. So we'll merge that in with the 37th. It doesn't really matter. Apparently we can't merge while updating. Right. Yeah, Our that'll be the that'll be the case. We'll move these guys over to Monikadir. The conquest of a new world. Has and for begun. now, that'll be good enough. We'll merge them in once the 37th finishes its upgrade, which it's 89% done with its Titan, superior. so it should be done pretty soon. That looks good. We are banking up alloys here. We know that we're going to need a good number, and the real question is, is this going to be enough? to max out our fleet? The answer is probably no. Okay, yeah, this is actually capped at 9999. Beautiful. So that is the maximum naval cap, according to this tooltip. We can have up to 20 titans, so we're probably going to target 20 fleets, regardless of whether that's at our naval cap or not. Our ships okay, have been that made sounds superior. good. So the 4th fleet and the 37th are going to merge together once this titan is done. Our ships Which have is been now. made superior. Done. So those are merging. Perfect. Okay. At this Our point, we should be able to hit superior. the reinforce fleet button here. And that's underway. So that fleet will be at full strength once that's all built. The 52nd, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to reinforce that fleet. Okay. Now we're lacking living metal. This is not surprising. And we're honestly just going to buy in 500. Our ships have been made okay. superior. So that was the 52nd here. We'll get that last little bit. That's now at full strength. And then the 12th. 99 living metal there. But we're lacking alloys. Okay, sounds good. So we're going to keep pouring alloys into this construction process. And it's going to be quite a process. No doubt about that. Scientific breakthrough. There we go. Achieved. That's now at full strength. And then the last fleet is going to be the second here. Cool. Loader efficiency. Excellent. Kinetic weapon attack speed finishing up there. Yeah, cloaked fleets have been discovered. That's all fine. Okay, so we'll watch our numbers here. They're going to continue to come on up. 
16 out of 20 titans so out of curiosity if we have 20 fleets that's 20 times 260 naval cap that's 5200 that is nowhere near our naval cap fascinating So we're going to need, if we want to max out our naval cap, we're going to need fleets that don't have titans, which is fine. We could simply replace a titan with two battleships and call that good. That's a theoretical possibility. So that's good to know. How much do we need according to this? 57,000? That's not bad. We are capped on our influence right now, and... I wouldn't mind making claims on the Karelian Foundation here. So let's make a few claims. Let's see. I'm just checking to see if the Karelians have anything up over this way first. They do. I would like to claim this system. Everything up over here. Anything else that the Karelians have? Yes. So everything over this direction... Beautiful. This is all great Zadrin mandate down this way. Okay. And then we're going to spend the rest on, like, this exclave here. We can grab this. And then there's this stuff up this direction. This is all very cheap. Wow. I'm surprised by how much we're actually able to claim here. Cool. Do it. So we have claims on a bunch of Karelian Foundation territory. They're considered equivalent to us right now, which is hilarious. I mean, yeah, that's decently strong, but we could definitely defeat them. No doubt about that. We're going to continue to work on building up our fleets. That's going to be our focus for the next little while. Our exotic gases being negative is concerning. There's no doubt about that. Let's go through our jobs here real quick. There is this mining world. Which is maxed out as far as its mining goes. It could technically produce additional food. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put in a food processing facility and three agriculture districts there. That should get us our food under control. What else do we need? Well, we need additional minerals. That's definitely true. We definitely need additional minerals. I passed one up here due to a lag spike. There you are. This unification center here. Okay, it's fine to remain as a unification center. We're going to put in a mineral purification plant and four mining districts. But then we're also going to put in the rest of this as admin offices. Cool. So that'll be fine for now. There's also... Hello, pause menu. There's a forge world up here that apparently we missed at some point. Uh, this is a really solid industrial world. There's no doubt about that. And I'm going to put in an alloy foundry and a civilian industry here. That's going to hurt our minerals a little bit, but for now, that'll have to do. Okay, what else do we have? We need housing on this forge world. Okay, these are all ruined, so we should definitely put in a city district here. That'll solve that problem. What else do we have going on here? Checking for any additional job work that needs to be done. We're not seeing anything as of yet. Uh, there's some housing here. And we could actually fix that with a habitation district. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what else do we have? Housing on this industrial world? That's devastation. And that will be dealt with. But I do think a city district here makes sense to open up a building slot. Yeah, I, I think that does make sense. So that'll be fine. The real question is, what is our actual amount here? We could calculate it, I think. So hypothetically, we've got a base of 20 plus 100 plus 600 plus from our pop jobs, 3,364 plus 30 from our fleet doctrine plus 20 from Supremacy Traditions, plus 8 from Orbital Anchorages, plus 1384 from Regular Anchorages, 
30 from our fleet support doctrine, 30 from support vessels, 80 from galactic force projection, 30 from interstellar logistics. Then we have 20%. I don't know if this is multiplicative or additive that they calculate this, but we've got 20%, but call it 60% here. So time, I'm, I'm going to assume it's additive and times 1.6. That's not the case. So we've got 5696 base times 1.2. That brings us up to 6,800 because the doing it additively, the times 1.6 gave me 9,113.6, which is clearly not correct. So times 1.2 gives us 6,835 times 1.2 gives us 8,202 times 1.2 gives us 98,42. That gets a lot closer, but that's still below the cap here. Okay, so that's clearly calculated in some other way or i missed a number there that's a possibility but i think we're close to that naval cap i i don't think we're super far over it so that sounds good we keep detecting cloaked fleets no shockers there we do need to deal with our mineral situation No doubt about that. This is currently down to minus 1,500, and yikes. <laughs> That's a lot. I do want to come into this last fleet here, the second, and let's work on reinforcing that. That's not going to be fully reinforced yet. But we're, I think, we're definitely going to need to expand our tightened fleets by an additional four. So that's going to be a lot of alloys, and then that in all is going to be using like half of our naval cap, right? So we're going to need like an additional 15 non-Titan fleets. Going to be a bit spicy. No doubt about that. That is going to be certainly spicy. <laughs> well, we'll see how that ends up going. I'm definitely concerned about our mineral situation. I'd also like to attack the Great Zadron Mandate at some point. They're a vassal under the Karelian Foundation? Okay, noted. The Azantian Assembly is independent, and we can definitely go after them. We could go after the Hadadeshian Guardians. We're going to need to take over the Desenu Consonants eventually. And the way that we would, of course, do that is by moving into Sethelbach. Which we can probably do pretty much now. But that will cost us a lot in terms of our fleet power. So that's a concern. I want to move all of our fleets here that are finished upgrading to a location where they are going to take less upkeep. So that we can rebuild a little bit faster. We're still upgrading the 52nd fleet. So the rest of these can be moved over to Seoul. Where they can be parked here in orbit of this station. And we can utilize our crew quarters here. For the minus 25% dock ship upkeep. So we're just going to dock them there. And our remaining fleets over here. Hmm. Apparently, we missed this fleet. Okay. You can come on over to Seoul as well. Enter orbit there. Beautiful. This other fleet is still being upgraded. And these guys, they're being reinforced. That said, they can also be moved over to Seoul. They don't have a reason to be sitting at the mega shipyard. So we'll just go ahead and enter orbit there. Beautiful. So we're just going to be leaving the Mega Shipyard system a little bit more empty here, which is fine. And we're at 97% on this upgrade, just waiting on this Titan. I love it. So that's looking good. We're now positive on our food, and we're probably going to be positive on our exotic gases once we dock all of those up, but we'll have to try to remember that we need to work on exotic gases. Our ships have been made superior. We've got like this refinery world here. It's not much of a refinery world. These guys have finished their upgrade and are now also going to head over to Seoul. There we go. 
and once they arrive there, we're going to be doing a lot better on our alloys, so that'll be good. Still minus 11. Okay, so we're still negative on the exotic gases. I guess we don't have exotic gas upkeep on these. That's reasonably fine. So here's a question. Do we need to keep a Grand Fleet Supremacy? I mean, the ship upkeep is very good. So I think that's still good. What else might we want to think about getting rid of? I mean, we are positive on Unity. So we could actually add in something. And we're still positive financially, even with our capacity subsidies off. So that's very good. We could turn on industrial subsidies. That would put us negative. I want to think about... A recycling campaign might not be awful. We could turn that on. Thugs, that's not good. Okay. Uh, yeah, this seems reasonably fine. I think this is good. Okay. Excellent. So it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Although I want to spend our alloys one last time. Where are our ships at? Here we go. I want to spend our alloys one last time here. Yes, purchase that service. Get out of here. And that fleet is now at full strength. Beautiful. So this is all of our fleets that we currently have at full strength. And if we want to do any more, we're going to have to expand our fleets. That is a job for next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And next episode, that fleet, it's going to be expanded. And it's going to be great. A very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Rogue Corvid, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.